I struggle with knowing how much detail to include, especially for methods and so on. I either include too much or too little. Right. So Mark Twain said that, uh, this quote, I was going to write you a short letter, but I didn't have time. So I wrote you a long letter. And it's actually uh, easier and quicker to write long, lengthy letters and documents than it is to properly chop those down and edit them and remove all the fluff and the unnecessary um, uh, pieces out of it. Uh, to get it down to that compact, shorter length um, format that you are looking for in academic writing. Um, the other point I made in the webinar was that you can take some of that out and put it into appendices. It's not like you're deleting it completely. You, It's just blocking the flow um, of your writing. And that's where you know too much detail can obscure the, the story or the logical coherent flow of your writing that you're trying to, 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 to give to the reader. And then, you know, too much or too little, you know, um, better if you've got too much, then you can cut out, but you have to be willing to, to edit your own work and not precious about the writing that you've done. Often, sometimes, you know, writers get very precious about paragraphs or sentences or statements that they've made, and they desperately want to try and keep that in. Um, sometimes you just have to let it go and, and cut it out, put it in an appendix or delete it um, entirely. Your writing usually will be much better off because it's only when you've written everything that you can compare paragraphs and sentences to each other and see what does or doesn't fit in or does or doesn't help you tell the overall story of what you're trying to, to uh, convey to your uh, reader.